today's technology is interactive PowerPoint. Normally, when you view or present a PowerPoint, you do it in a linear fashion. You start with the first slide, go to the second slide, followed by the third slide, and so on. But what if you want to let someone go from the first slide, let's say, to the fifth slide? Or if you want to give them a choice, you want to go to the fifth slide, or if you choose to do so, go to the tenth slide. This is what's called an interactive presentation. I'm going to show you how to create one, starting with some uh, pictures of famous dead guys. In fact, all of these are former U.S. presidents. One of them is not from Ohio. And if you click on that person, I want the presentation to go to this slide. If you don't click on the right person, I want you to go to this slide. So I have three slides. If you click on Grover Cleveland, it goes to the appropriate slide. If you click on one of the other five presidents, it goes to, no, that's not the correct slide. And finally, to get a second chance, you can try again, which takes you backwards in the presentation back to the first slide with the question. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight one of the pictures. And we're going to insert an action. When you do that, it pops up a box, and one of the options is to hyperlink. We're going to hyperlink to a slide. We don't know which slide, but it pops up a box, and we scroll through and find the one that looks like the correct slide, and we select that one. So it looks like it's uh, hyperlinking to slide number 10. So we click OK. Now we repeat this process for each of the other pictures. You can't do them all at once, unfortunately. You have to do them one at a time, except the incorrect uh, slide has to hyperlink to slide number 11 in our case. Now, once we go through all of the pictures and get them hyperlinked correctly, we need to go to this slide that's going to go backwards, the try again. So we click on try again to highlight it because that's the part the person clicks on. And we're going to insert an action just like we did before, except we're going to hyperlink back to slide number nine. That's the slide that has the original question. So ultimately, it's going to look like uh, this type of interaction. So let's test it out. Let's go to our question. If we click on Grant, that's not correct. Let's try again. What about Taft? Not correct. Try again. Let's click on Grover Cleveland. It is correct. Takes us to the correct side. So we've created all of these interactions using the built-in functionality of PowerPoint.